What is good, YouTube? Quinn Way coming to you another video. We're going to talk about the Clippers making a splash in free agency. They will re sign and they will also reach a four year deal of $64 million for Marcus Morris. The Clippers did notably lose Montrez Harrell, but not only Montrez Harrell, they will also lose other role players on this team. And now they have to reshape this roster as you do have another flexible, versatile guy like Jermichael Green leaving to the Nuggets. The Clippers, in my personal opinion, got worse. Uh, I don't see these two deals really making them any better. Um, I didn't really like the Kennard trade because I feel like he's another Marcus Morris. Yeah, you got a bunch of guys that can break down the defense and knock down shots. But you also need guys that can do more things. And you you want to have as much you know, variety in your lineups as you can have so you can, you know, be able to match up against anybody, especially in the playoffs where you want to have that advantage of having different lineups and different players that can come in and contribute, but also give you an advantage. And I don't really see that with these two additions. You already had power forwards and most of the time you're going to play more as the four because you still want to have Kawhi Leonard and Paul George on the court, and then you add Luke Kennard as another guy that can play off the ball but also create. But I don't really see them getting better defensively with these two additions. And Patrick Patterson, I don't think he adds that either. And I also don't really see them, you know, they might be able to do more offensively with these guys, but that only solves that problem. Plus, I feel like they needed more positions filled and these two guys really didn't play exceptional at all, you know, with the Clippers. So when I look at this, I'm still, you know, trying to process that the Clippers might not be a real championship contender going into next year. You still do have a lot of talent and you should still be one of the better teams in the West. Hopefully Kawhi Leonard can play more games because if this is the roster that you're going to have, you're going to be playing small a whole lot. And even when you go big, you're going to have a floor that's spaced out. But when you go against teams that's bigger and have more mobile and more aggressive big men, I still don't see Zubak being enough. And even if he is enough to guard, what about the other positions? You're going to be very, very small. And Patrick Patterson isn't the best athlete anymore. And you have the KDs and the Giannis's that you do have to possibly beat to win a title at those four positions. And I don't see a guy on this roster that can really stay with them because the guys that they have, it will be just Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. And you don't want them getting in foul trouble and you don't want them to be too gassed because they have to carry the offensive load. So we'll see what else they do. I still think the Clippers are one of the better teams. But I just personally don't feel like they got better this offseason. I feel like they honestly took a step back. But as long as they have their duo and their starting lineup similar to last year, and if they can stay healthy, they're still going to be one of the better teams just based off the talent alone. And I do want to see what Tyron Luke going to do. He is a, the new coach. He's going to have a different philosophy and a different scheme on both ends of the court and – you have to still see it to believe it. Last year, you you got Patrick Beverly, you got Zubak, you got Lou Williams, and you're adding Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, not really giving them none of your depth or none of your other role players, but they still got put out in the second round. They didn't even make it to the Western Conference Finals. So just because it looks good and it sounds good don't always mean, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. We still got to see it. And even if we see it, we still got to see it in the playoffs. And – a lot of teams in the West are more aggressive and has really filled out their roster in other positions. And I feel like the Clippers really didn't improve. And if anything, they took a step back talent-wise than they did last year. So now we still have to see what else they do throughout these next couple of days. And they still got the trade deadline and they also do got the buyout. But they're still going to be up there. They're still going to be competitive and they're still going to be one of the tougher teams to play against. Um, still, so they didn't get better to me. So right now they took a step back, but they still going to be good regardless if they can stay healthy and Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are doing their thing. So we'll see what else they do. And, you know, 
This team went from being possibly the best team in the West to now a couple steps down. And we'll see if they'll be able to fix that problem with their acquisitions throughout the rest of this year. Um, check out my website, analysisplayeron.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayeron.com. That will also be in the description, comment section below. You can also buy merchandise just like this on my Facebook page. Also, on my spread shirt, that will be in the description too. You can check out my other videos, like, subscribe, and share. And if you enjoyed this video, I do offer other videos that you can check out also on my channel. Other than that, let's see what the Clippers do. If I'm Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, I'm itching to get back out there. I'm itching to prove that we, we should have won last year. But the, 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 the people that you got behind you, I'm not really I'm looking at it like I'm not really liking the roster right now. I'm not really liking the direction. And in that case, to me, we got to wait and see. I'll be with another video in a couple of seconds.